very free, honestly. <laughs> really? Uh oh, yeah, the mirror. Yeah. Well, that's gonna be interesting. The mirror is probably the hardest to match up because this is kind of the best deck in the game right now. Alright. Alright. So we got a bunch of things. First, we drop the boat. Drop the boat, as always. A Nero. A Nero is very good. Uh, definitely only want one Jackal. Furco is good. The sand is pretty solid. I think I would probably still mulligan the jack. Uh, yeah, this is this is a solid hand. So where do we go first? Um. So we have to respect him going safe cracker into justice. Generally, these decks really don't run Squirrel, and you also never want to bleed the mirror, so I think we go for Oniru into Safe Tracker here. Alright. Nice and beefy Safe Crackers. Alright. And then we just play Portal! Okay, so this is a, uh, a very interesting matchup. Play some Oh, okay, this is gonna be, you know what this is? This is gonna be a... Igor. A Townsfolk deck, yes, yes. This is gonna be a Townsfolk deck. That's fine, honestly. We just have to win round one and bleed, and we should be good. So we still go Furco, or do we just kill this? So this is interesting. He committed a portal... Um, we really want to win the round, but I, th I think we just slam the justice here. And then we start dealing with his cards. His threats, huh? So, it, well, I guess you run other cards anyways, so do we still stack, or...? I think it's fine. I don't think there's gonna be, like, a card like Erden or so to punish this. And he's gonna get Tavern Brawl value anyway if he runs it, but I don't think he does. So how many does he have Interesting. Here? Safe practice. Very curious build. So do we smack it with bloody good fun, or do we... Yeah, I think we just kill it with CBGF. I think that's... Okay. I don't know, I think we kill the Tax Collector, honestly. The like his tax collector, yeah, yeah, it's gonna get one point, one coin every turn, right? Whereas he, he, he only has two primes in hand with his safe tracker, so it's just the less scary engine. So he gets another one after the portal pops, probably. I would assume so. What other four, four provision cards would he run to pull for this? Maybe he runs the Salamander Lackey, but that's all I think he could really run. The Lackey is the one that uh, boosts itself by one once per turn if you gain a coin. Ah, well he's screwed on that. Yeah, when they said, when they revealed Cleaver and they, it said Spawn Shakedown, I was like, what's Shakedown? <laughs> I didn't even know this was like hard. <laughs> I was like, what is, what is this? It's kind of funny because the card was like, it never ever saw play at 16. No, right? I didn't even, I thought it was a new card. <laughs> I literally thought it was a new card. Yeah, but at, at this provision range, it's actually just pretty So we good. kill it again? We just go Furco and, uh... A kill. A payday. I'm, we don't get the boat good. out though. We're gonna get the boat out eventually. Um I'm just a bit worried that we have an answer to cards like Townsfolk, but they shouldn't be relevant this round. I guess it's okay to go for Echo here. It's a bit... I'm a bit worried about what he could do, but I think we're fine. We're still taking the payday though, right? The payday, yes, yes, yes. We don't want to overspend. Yeah, and the, uh, the Bloody Good Fun is a card that... It's a 4 provision card, right? But it can actually deal up to 9 damage, so the, the threat of this card is actually super big. So even if he goes to like 
eight or so in the town so we can still smack it with the BGF later on. Right. Yeah, and I see just, where I see where yeah, like it starts popping off. Like when you get these down, like I was like, well, I keep forgetting these have intimidate. Yeah, these cards are nuts. This is usually how it goes. You play like one or two safe cracker, like a safe cracker and justice round one. You play your crimes, and then you bleed into round two with your cleaver and your skewer tooth and all these good cards. This, this guy should certainly runs uh, an interesting list. Why not bounty this? They have a higher. I, I guess it's a I threat. So he, he does he run? What's his name? The, the melee guy? No, 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 no. There is no way. I doubt it. So we go dip. I think we can play shakedown. On Furco. <clears throat> uh, yeah, yeah, Furco is a good target. I want to keep the dip just a little bit longer because it could deal with like. Um, a scarab or like something threatening. It's just better to keep to play the shakedown in round one. Oh shit! That is very strong. Ah, tunnel drill is pretty overpowered. So now we play. Uh, again. So how do we get there? Um. So what we do here is actually a good question. Do we spend twice and see Jackal? But then he just kills it, right? Did he? How many crimes did he play? He only played. Well, he played his two. Or did he fur code? No, yeah, he fur code. So he has one more left. Yeah. So... We could... This is actually pretty awkward. We could just play Salamander Mage here. I think it's fine. Uh, on the fur code, like pay the tribute and target the fur code. <clears throat> uh oh. It like freaked out there for a second. You still there? Um, I'm still there. Okay. Yes. Yeah, there was like a mini freak out moment there on my computer. Oh, no. I was like, oh <laughs> no. So, if he doesn't get ahead by too much here, we could just play the dip, right? We can just play the dip next turn, get perfectly to the point we want, and get the vote out. So we now spend. we get to kill it, but we don't have a spender. It's so sad, because like, like if we kill it, we're exactly um, on 9. And so like we, like, we tie if we kill it here, which is super sad. So we have to spend twice and... But then, like, we get trouble with the boat. Honestly, uh, let's take a look at the deck real quick. I think we are pretty okay to go down the card. I think the best line here is to dip the tunnel drill. Like, this looks a bit awkward here. Um, but we need to get this boat out. We can't allow our jackal to die. Uh, and we really want ground control. So we just say, sure, you get the card, but we get full coin carryover, we get to bleed you into round two. And I think we're okay. We just play the jackal and take the path. One man's battlefield is another man's Yeah, I mean, if we fill up a one of the good ones, we can, we should be okay. Well, I, think, I think this is not great, but fine. I mean, him spending the tunnel drill gotta be good. Yeah. And it's also like, it's just getting round control against the deck he plays. It's, it's very, very vital. So we drop the I dip? Think, I think you drop the gourd here. I think we want to top deck the gourd in round three. You could consider keeping the gourd and trying to 2 all, but I don't think it really happens. Let's take a look at the deck. What would we actually look for here? Philippa and Cleaver. Philippa Cleaver, but the dip is not bad in this hand. I guess we're not coin starved. I guess you can take the mulligan. The dip is not bad, but I guess you can take the mulligan. Okay. That is certainly a good card. 
I think we just slam Cleaver here. So we a Nero into Cleaver? Yeah. You smell shenanigans. Yeah, I'm smelling big shenanigans. I just want to smore it as hard as possible. Bleed the shenanigans. Wasubi, yeah. circa or 2019. <laughs> Do we spend twice? Or we... we spend once. Only once. Is fine. Uh, because, like, our coins are better spent with the tunnel drill, but we need to set it up at least a bit. Right. Yeah, what is this? Bleed two cards down? It's crazy. Nah. This guy is looking at his reactive hand and it's like, oh no, I have all these greedy engines in hand. So he spends four times. So he goes Philippa? No, he can't. No, he can't. So what he goes this? a Nero into... What? Okay. That's... I mean, I guess... He overs... Sure. Yeah, he, he messed up a bit there. But that's his full leader. I, I don't think we care. I think we just slam the, the Jacques. We don't have a way to set up the crown splitter now, huh? Yeah, but I mean, we still have one in the front, and we still deal two damage. It's like playing a, a horse in Freak Show, right? So that's that's still a good tunnel drill if we need control. The beast shall be born, and the blood of innocence shall your mugging, blood. Yeah, I think we're in a pretty good spot there, honestly. Yeah, where does he... He's just playing slow and reactive. Fair enough. Uh, let's check his graveyard for a second. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, maybe he's not playing what I saw. He's playing a weird deck for sure. Um, I mean, I think we just go full spend into the, the Dijkstra here. Just get our thing out. <clears throat> and we could maybe protect our Jacques from another uh, payday or bloody good fun. So maybe we click twice on the leader and then spend twice on the Jacques. Just to play around the mobile cards here, because we really don't want to stop leading. My lads will make sure of that. Yeah, he's got to be super confused right now. 25. And he's, like you said, he's got to have, like, townsfolk and stuff in here. I mean, that's... I mean, maybe he just plays a similar deck to us, but plays like this anyway. I, I don't know, honestly. I mean, how does he do this points in two cards? I don't know, but I don't think we stop. No? Uh, we spend really. spend once. I think you spend like six times here. Yeah. It's a bit of a gut feeling to spend like this amount, but I feel like this is a good amount. <laughs> <laughs> His gravish <laughs> sense is tingling here. All right, well. <laughs> That's what happens when you play at, like thousands of games of Gwent in your life. You just get Thirty-three. Like, He's got two, four cards. All right. So his gourd is decent. Now, what happens if he Philip is this? We Philip it right back. Yeah, if we if he plays a unit here, we will slam Philippa, like, there's no doubt about it. I thought he's playing, like, an eager Townsfolk deck, but maybe he's playing something completely different, I don't know. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll see. If he plays a crime here, we just take the pass. If he plays a unit, we probably go for the Philippa. Yeah. Uh, there's the Philippa. So he doesn't even get to spend. So we just yoink it back and kill everything. I mean, we really don't get back, but we don't have the the power. Oop, oh, oh, almost. <laughs> <laughs> so we uh, just don't get back. Yeah. And then maybe we take a look at the deck to see what we're going to top deck. Cool. Um, we do have a Nero still, so we got Scaretooth and Herald possibly. Uh, we played both stages of a Nero already. Oh, we so did. So that one's gone. I think we, we don't do anything here. We, we have... Yeah, we, we should we should take the pass here. Yeah. Uh, because we have like the three coins we could use to immune the, the skewer tooth in round three, but we could also use it to get the boat out. If we find right. like a jackal or so, it should be pretty good. 
So but I mean, he has to make up like loads of points. Yeah. Still like all twenty-three. Oh wait, that's you should have played that first. Yeah, he was greedy. He was like, ah, oh, this cloud is bleeding me too down. So, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> oh shit. Easy game. Wow. All right, let's try one more. Oh.